Travis Wingood Cell. Uh, there's uh, a, a with the coronavirus. There's a multi-pronged attack that's being done to us. Uh, the two main categories. Uh, one is a, an extermination uh, against uh, those who are of color. The other is an extermination of the poor. And uh, the other subcategories are contained within these two major categories of extermination with this coronavirus. Uh, I'll first talk about in this video about the master race plan that's being perpetuated. To understand the master race, we've got to go back even beyond uh, World War II's Nazi Germany. We've got to go back to the beginning of the master race plan, Babylon. Babylon was the first country to figure out uh, that if you breed uh, two uh, pure, unblemished sheep that you would get offspring that were unblemished. And so they began that process of producing unblemished animals for their sacrifices, especially. That's why religion started with the, the pure race of uh, sacrificial uh, breeding. And uh, uh, they also knew that they could then <coughs> also work on uh, uh, improving the quality of other animals, uh, building stronger animals that were security guards, uh, like dogs and such. And so they were the first ones to figure this out through the breeding program. <coughs> and uh, as you can see they were uh, well aware that it could be done with humans as well uh, and as you know uh, from the other video I did uh, about the symbol of Lucifer in the Mormon church uh, Babylon uh, was understood as the church of Lucifer as Ishtar uh, was uh, the personification of what became Venus and Venus uh, is related to the planet Venus and the planet Venus is associated with Lucifer over time and so that's how Lucifer is connected to Babylon and this is why uh, the Book of Mormon starts off talking about Lehi coming from Babylon the whole concept of Babylon destroys Jerusalem and the need for the righteous to flee and establish a new Jerusalem and uh, come out of Babylon and so in Doctrine and Covenants chapter 1 verse 16 the church service missionaries in the uh, uh, project in the 70s for the release of the 1979-1981 versions of the scriptures didn't decode Babylon in that passage. They decoded the other names that they knew of and could figure out, but they missed Babylon among others, such as the Lord, speaking to Joseph Smith. They didn't decode that one either. Uh, and so, um, 16 talks about Babylon, come out of Babylon, which embraces idols, which will be destroyed. It's America, <clears throat> if you're not familiar with the Statue of Liberty being modeled after Ishtar. So we have the Babylonian goddess Ishtar at our immigration ports. Come to America where we will breed the color out of you. <clears throat> and so yes, Hitler uh, was involved in this breeding program as well and the blonde haired blue eyes even though Hitler was not blonde nor blue eyed <laughs> nor was he tall <laughs> so, I, <clears throat> he uh, uh, was uh, uh, just crazy but we learned from that that 
no, you don't do that. But they kept going with DNA research. Now they've developed the technology that they can actually go into your DNA, identify the, uh, the problem DNA that's causing some kind of illness or uh, malfunction in your body, they can remove that section of the DNA and the DNA will grow back not only a replacement but a correction to fix the error in the DNA code. They've now got that technology. So you can now create a master race through DNA. Now I'm sure they would never abuse it for that purpose, would they? They would have to replace us who already exist, wouldn't they? Huh. Ancestry.com have a, a DNA component, Ancestry DNA, where you give them your DNA, and it's mostly Mormons, though they do lots of advertising to get other people involved in it. They only go back 300 years uh, to cover all the various lines and where they originated in mostly Europe, depending on your ethnicity. Uh, <coughs> they don't go by your DNA. If you want to know, I did it. I did their program. They were cheap. I was meeting to get DNA evidence for my case against the church and they were not helpful. They didn't tell me what I already knew, didn't, or already knew. I already knew it from doing the, my genealogy work through the church, through Ancestry.com. That's where they get their information from, is sharing with the church files. And so the DNA results that they were giving me were from the genealogy that I had already obtained. They didn't do it through DNA. And so they didn't tell me that there were any errors in the genealogy, which we already knew and suspected there were many errors, but we didn't know, and that hopefully with the DNA was going to help solve those problems. They didn't. <laughs> and to confirm this, I got an email from them later on saying, hey, we've corrected your DNA. Oh, you have? <laughs> this, this one line has this ancestor from this country. Oh? <laughs> Wasn't the DNA supposed to figure that out in the first place? And so when I saw that email, I was just like, oh my god, they played me. They played me for a chump. They've got my DNA, the church has my DNA and what are they doing with it because they're not telling me the DNA results and so I needed to get other uh, another company's test to help me in the lawsuit against the church and so I went to 23andMe and and yeah big difference the one with 23andMe though I got the plan where you find out how far back your line goes on the paternal and maternal lines. You can't find out the middle stuff with that particular testing. And, uh, and so uh, I didn't expect them to correct any of the middle stuff that Ancestry had made a mistake on. <coughs> but sure enough, they, they said, hey, we found a marker for uh, a West African person lineage. That's what Ancestry.com, our DNA, did not tell me. I knew from my mother, because it was her father's lineage, not too many generations back, where there was a big shame event that took place, and that they had to breed out the color from the mistake that was made by my uh, that maternal paternal line uh, plantation owner who raped my plan or uh, my maternal 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 paternal maternal 
uh, ancestor who was just a 14 year old girl working as a slave on the farm on the plantation <coughs> and uh, ancestry DNA could not identify her she was within 300 years and they couldn't identify her it's because my genealogy did not identify her <laughs> we couldn't find the location from their ancestry we couldn't find which slave ship she came from and uh, or her parents or however far back it went we weren't sure and uh, and so that's why I have my dark hair which is wavy when it grows out it curls up and uh, why I have blue eyes wait a minute blue eyes blacks don't have blue eyes Travis <laughs> yes that comes from my mom's mom's side of the family mom's mom's dad's side of the family technically uh, that's where my height also comes from uh, because uh, the black was bred out uh, to shorten up the lineage on the mom's dad's side of the family <coughs> but uh, because of my mom's mom's dad's side I'm I'm like super tall in the family 6'5 where my mom and dad are 5'11 and uh, that's where I get my blue eyes from uh, and believe it or not even though you see the milky snow white skin <laughs> yeah, that's why during the summertime if I go out uh, and it get exposed to the sun for longer than the 15 minute time frame I burn the first time thereafter nope no burn I can be out all day every day for the whole summer no more burn I tan thanks to my ancestor who got raped and uh, that lineage is not pure black it's also mixed with Arabic so that's where my sheiks come from that we had found in our genealogy and so yeah I'm also Arabic Arabian Nights <laughs> but uh, ancestry no 23 and me yeah they knew because they saw the marker they couldn't tell me which line because it can't tell them that information but they see the marker in me <coughs> and so uh, if you're you're not catching on yet this whole concept of breeding out color as part of a master race plan is occurring under Trump what has he been doing with the southern border ever since the second day in office he's been separating children from their parents as they are seeking refuge and asylum here in America the parents are being extorted to give up their children or all go back without immigration and so parents are giving up their children so that their children can have a life in America and the children then get adopted into good white Christian families so that the good white Christian families being rich can afford to send them to the good schools where the white kids are where they will breed out the color you see how this is working <clears throat> and so this this whole concept of the coronavirus is having a detrimental effect on those of color because they don't have health insurance to protect them and so they're more susceptible as they have the higher cases of pre-existing conditions 
Number 12, wanting to get rid of pre-existing conditions, wanting to get rid of Obamacare, wanting to get rid of SNAP, wanting to then say, well, okay, fine, if you insist on having SNAP, then we'll just replace it with a food box of our choosing of food, and it will only last for three days. And, and welfare? He wanted, he, he, he wanted to take out welfare. It's only good for three months. He changed that. And then what happens? Oh yeah, coronavirus. Do you see what he was doing in advance of coronavirus? He was setting in motion the things necessary for coronavirus to finish him off. And with this coronavirus, we're exterminating mankind. Only the strong are surviving. The master race is surviving. As Trump continually pushes to further exterminate, to purify the human race, as he's referring to it. And when you have a scarcity of the pure race, guess what else you get to do? Those of you who are gay and lesbian, you're forced to breed. They're going to get the gay out of you. Because the human race needs you to breed. And you can't do that with one of your own sex. And it's going to be controlled breeding. Because they can't trust you to make the right decisions in your breeding habits. <laughs> so they will be controlling it. This is going to last for years, guys. We may never even get a vaccine. It's just assumed that if a vaccine will happen from the research that we're currently doing, it will take a couple of years. Because that's the pattern. If we make the discovery and the tests that we're running are successful. If they're not successful, we keep going on without a vaccine years upon years. They, they're trying to tell us we don't have a vaccine for HIV, the disease that causes AIDS. They only have medis they only have drugs to treat symptoms of AIDS. That should scare you when Trump came out on Fox with his interview the other day and said, oh yeah, when the vaccine is uh, completed by the end of this year, which, no Trump, it will not be ready by the end of the year, because the testing necessary to determine if it's accurately going to work is going to take two years. If we find something that works. So what is he talking about having a vaccine by the end of the year where he's now mobilizing the military to be in our streets administering this vaccine that cannot exist by then. What is he planning instead? And by the way, it's just right around election time when he's going to do this. Huh. You're a Democrat? Oh, okay. Oh, look, you've got coronavirus. You need to be hospitalized. Get out of line. <laughs> you see what they're going to do? He's rigged the election already. We're not going to have a, an election. And if we do, it's just going to be a showpiece like they do in Russia. We already know the outcome because the Senate acquitted Trump. And because they acquitted him, he's gone wild. So, understand, this is the master race portion of the coronavirus. The other portion is about exterminating the poor. So that we only have rich and a controlled group of slaves for the rich. 
that's the other one that I would need to do. And that also knocks down coloreds and women. So, I understand that if I don't get to that video, that that is the other part of this coronavirus plot. And it's being done all over the world, as all leaders are failing their people in stopping this virus. Because once it was known in China, all nations should have immediately gone on high alert to shut down all ports of entry. They didn't. They let it in. They let it explode with outbreaks before they finally got around to trying to do something about it. And it's too late once that happens. Because now we can't just shut down the borders. Because it's in. And there is no cure. Just Big Pharma getting paid lots and lots of money as they have their drugs being tested to see which one will keep the virus under control for the symptom part of it. They do not cure. And of course there's the scandal of the drugs that don't work where Governor Gary Herbert here in Utah was caught paying $800,000 for hydroxychloroquine which has been found to be a murder drug for those on coronavirus. And then Gary Herbert of course Oh, I had no idea who did this. We're going to investigate. How is that investigation coming, by the way? <laughs> How hard is it to investigate who made the order, which was exposed by the press, <laughs> because it's a government document? You know exactly what happened, Herbert. It was you. And so, yes, the church is involved in this master race plan also. Governor Herbert is a part of this master race program, too. Because with the poor part of it, we have Operation Rio Grande. Remember? You know, the whole homeless shelter crisis? And the homeless shelter extortion? <laughs> that would be a part of my video on the poor part. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Governor Herbert doesn't want to pay out welfare the state's having to pay for it. And they came up, the news was reporting the money that they are having to pay on this. Herbert doesn't want to pay that money. He doesn't like it when people are on welfare. Mooching off of the system. They need to get back to work. And so that's what he did on the anniversary of the Illuminati, the Lucifer Church of Babylon, and the Kingdom of Babylon, because it's not just church, it's government as well. Uh, and then it split, uh, the government portion went their way, staying in the East Coast. The church moved west with their signs of the symbol of Lucifer, as I told the video of. So, now you know the bigger picture, and that should scare you. Because we're being exterminated to create the master race. And they don't need us if we don't comply and conform and don't survive because they've got our DNA or at least the master race DNA because most Mormons in the church are of the master race as they call it 